Che. Che. I had to readjust the PA system. And then I had to set some settings. You got a hot battery in there. That was kind of messed up, amen? But well, we got it all fixed tonight, amen. amen. Hopefully amen. everything's worked out, amen. But it's good to be back on the Glasgow Square tonight, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I thank the Lord, amen, that he has given us another opportunity, amen, and gave us the breath of life today, amen, amen. to be able to come back tonight and preach the gospel, amen. 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 I, I want to see somebody tonight get touched. I, I want to see somebody tonight be set free and delivered, amen. amen. Hallelujah, I came to preach the gospel tonight. Amen, the good news. Amen. The good news is Jesus is coming soon. And we better be ready. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. We're going to get into singing. Amen. And we're going to get into some worship. Amen. Then we're going to have some preaching. Amen. So if those of us come and help sing, amen, come on up. Amen. And we're going to sing.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good, ain't he? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. We, we want to we welcome everybody out tonight here on the last row square. Amen. Tell you that we appreciate all y'all that come. Amen. We do got Brother Timmy Brown and Sister Tammy down there. Amen. Go all the way from Scotsburg. Amen. Can you be here tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. It, it is good. Amen. To be around God's people. Amen. And it's also good to be out here in God's good weather. Amen. We can be like they was down in Florida. Amen. But God has not let it come this way yet. Amen. So you know what? Amen. We need to give God some praise. Amen. Because listen. It's devastation down there in Florida. It's, it's tore all the pieces. Devastation. Right. It's Amen. tore all the pieces. Amen. People, uh, a mother just reached and grabbed her little baby before it went under the water to drown. Amen. If the mama hadn't been paying attention, it would have been swept away. Amen. And I mean, that was just before the hurricane even got up on the land. Amen. But listen, there's a lot of homes that's been destroyed. A lot of business has been destroyed. And probably some lies because some people wouldn't take heed to the warning. Amen. But tonight, amen, they were the warning being made, amen, to Glasgow Square. Amen. You got a warning last night. There's a warning again tonight. Amen. God's trying to tell people, amen, either get right, amen, or you're going to be left behind. Amen. Amen. It's just the truth. Either you get right or you're going to be left behind. And you got to live right or you're going to be left behind. Amen. We came tonight, amen, to give God some praise. Amen. To give Him some glory tonight. Amen. I know that uh, we started on time tonight. Thank the Lord. Amen. But let me tell you what God told me the other day. The other night. He told me the other night we was there at the church. And the Lord spoke to me just as plain as day. He said, I'm not a God to be rushed. I'm not a God to be pushed around. I'm not a God, amen, that, that well, Sister Jackie, too many people wants to rush God. That's right. Too many people wants to rush the Spirit. Too many people, amen, wants to hurry up and get home. Amen, instead of worshiping God. But God spoke to me. He said, I'm not a God to be rushed. Amen. And when he said that, I had to apologize. And I said, Lord, I said, I apologize. I apologize if we're rushing you. I said, I'm sorry. Amen. When we come to the house of the Lord, we come to worship God. Amen. Amen. Here on the Glasgow Square, we come to worship the Lord tonight. Amen. 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 We got till 10 o'clock. Amen. To have it all shut down. Just to say, we got to get off the square, but have till 10 o'clock to have everything shut down. So tonight, amen, we're going to have some singing. Amen. Amen. Then we're going to have some preaching. That's right. Amen. Then we're going to have some more singing. Amen. And hopefully we're going to have somebody to get saved tonight. That's right. Amen. Amen. Or a backslider. Oh, Come yeah. back to the Lord. Yeah. A drug addict. Be set free. Yeah. An alcoholic. Yeah. Be delivered. Yeah. You say, Brother Miller, I don't believe in that. Well, let me tell you something. Amen. Look around the square. There's all kind of alcoholics yeah. around the square. Yeah. Amen. There's a lot of drug addicts around the square. Yeah. They need to be set free. They need to change yeah. off of them tonight. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Did you do it? Like yeah. I said last night, this weather right here ain't nothing to compare to what hell's going to be like. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hell's going to be hotter than what you think. Amen. It'll be hotter than what a lot of people think. Amen. Amen. People go Friday night 
and they'll sit out and watch the ball games. Church people will go out Friday night and they'll watch the football games and they won't say nothing about the cold weather. They'll sit there until every inning is over. Amen. Until every quarter is over. If it's over time, amen, they'll still sit there in the cold. Amen. But they won't come into the house of the Lord and they won't sit in the house of the Lord not even 30 minutes and they're ready to go home. That's why people rush God. He said, I'm part of people rushing me. Amen. Can I tell you somebody else that rushes God? It's these false prophets that's going around telling people the world's coming to an end. That's right, amen. Amen, going around telling people, amen, that the rapture's done already came. What's the use of y'all being up on the square? Well, let me tell you something. My Bible ain't been fulfilled yet. Right. And when my Bible's fulfilled, amen, and Jesus says it's done, and the Lord looks over at the sun and says, Son, go get your bride. Amen. Then the rapture will take place and the church will be gone. Amen. And I'm looking forward to it. And you're going to know it. Amen. There won't be no hustle and bustle when he comes. Amen. The Bible said every eye is going to behold him. They're going to see him come back on that cloud, Sister Missy. They're the ones that wants to say, I go to church for 30 minutes and I get feeling good. Amen. And then go home and watch the movies on TV or play on their cell phone and on their tablets. Amen. But let me tell you something. We're going to be gone. I'm going home one day after a while, brother. Wait. Amen. This is not my home. Amen. My home is over yonder, on the other side of Jordan. Amen. I'm going to be with Jesus one day after a while. Amen. All right. All right. Let's see. Well, Sister Bonnie, your brother Michael come on up. song ready that you sing at church all the time. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister Missy, you and Cassie get something ready. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have some singing. Amen. We'll have people to listen to the singing. Amen. And they'll disappear. The
just kind of be ready. Thank you. 
Yes, amen. I'm not talking about a lifesaver, can you? Amen. But I'm talking about a lifesaver that gives you life. Yes. Amen. And that's yes. Jesus. All right. Amen. Just miss you and sit back. And y'all come on. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
pocket. Night show. Hallelujah.
truly up for it. But you know, as I was sitting here, <coughs> and it just come to me, you know, we're out in the open, we're out in the beautiful sky that the Lord made. That's right, amen. But what if we see him just pop right out? Pop out. That's right, amen. He pop right out, you know? Yeah. We're big, great. daughter off to work when goodies used to be over here by the <laughs> where rulers is at and I'm down in there and we had much more dropped her off 
to work that we come up to the stop sign and it was clear and Miller started to cross and when he did a car come from the right and it hit and it plowed in on my side of the row of the van we hadn't even had that van two weeks it rolled the metal up at my feet it throwed the battery from the driver's side over to the passenger side oh from the shop from the passenger side over to the driver's side but it knocked me clean out in an instant it knocked me clean out in an instant right. Amen. and had i had sin in my life and had i not made it if i'd have had sin in my life and hadn't have made it i would have went to hell in an instant in an instant because it happened so fast that I didn't have time to repent. I didn't have time to say, Lord, please forgive me. I've been doing wrong. I didn't have time to say, Lord, please forgive me. I ain't been seeking you with my whole heart. I didn't have time to say, Lord, forgive me. I've been playing jokes. I didn't say, Lord, forgive me. I didn't have time to say I'm mad at my family. I didn't have time to say, Lord, please forgive me. It happened in an instant, and it knocked me clean out. time I got to the hospital, I didn't know nobody. That's right. Right. That's not a good feeling. That is not a good feeling at all to wake up in a hospital and not know people that you've known all your life. Matter of fact, family members. It was family members at that time, and I looked at them, and it was like, I should know you, but I don't know you. And it happened in an instant. The Bible says, that he's coming back in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. We have to stay ready. We can't play church. Right. We can't get ready. We got to get ready and stay ready. Right. Because we never know when Jesus is going to call for us. Right. Right. And like I said, because we're here today and now out in this beautiful sky, don't mean we're going to be here tomorrow. Amen. We don't know. You know, we're appointed unto man to die, and after that, death is a judgment. Right, right. And that's why we have to stay ready to Amen. meet Jesus. You know, right. we stay ready and we repent daily because we all make mistakes. Right. But when you do it over and over and over and over and over, it's not a mistake. Right. That's right, amen. And whatever we do and whatever we have trouble with, and we pray and ask God to help us with it, we pray and ask God help us to never do it again because, you know, we don't want sin in our life when Jesus comes because if we have sin in our life when Jesus comes, guess what? We're not going to the good place. That's right, amen. He's not taking sinners to the good place. He's not taking backsliders to the good place. He's not taking hypocrites to the good place. That's right, amen. That's why we have to live for Jesus every day with our whole heart. That's right, amen. And do what he would have us to do right. every day. The Bible says work out your own right. salvation right. With, fear and trembling. with fear and trembling. That's right. You don't amen. tell me to work yours out. You don't tell me to work mine out. That's right. This is a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with amen. Jesus Christ the Lord. That's right, amen. That's right. The Bible also tells us we're judged according to what we know. Right. So we all better repent and live right and stay right so when Jesus comes, we can go home with him. That's right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. She's telling you the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You don't have time. Amen. You, you put it off and put it off. Preacher. I'll just put it off, preacher. I don't have to worry about it. Amen. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Amen. I'll pray when I die. Amen. Before I die, I'm going to pray. That's right. Amen. It don't work that way. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Got your Bibles. Amen. Turn with me. Amen. To Isaiah chapter 61. Amen. The Bible plainly tells us, amen, in God's Word. Amen. That 
We got to live right. Right. That song is Sister Misty Son, What's Wrong with Living Right? Man. Amen. Listen to what the Bible says here in Isaiah. It said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to open the prison to open the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to confirm to comfort all that more amen I want you to listen Isaiah 61 verse 1 the Spirit of the Lord was upon me. Amen. But because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to the and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. I want to preach just in a little while. Amen. Oh, are you free? Amen. Amen. Are you free? Right. Right. Amen. Amen. God woke me up this morning and all I could hear was are you free? That's right. Are you free? All right, come on. Amen. I read about some things last night Amen. About people being put in prison. Amen. And I begin to read. Amen. And when I woke up this morning, God said, Are you free? Right. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Amen. You no longer are bound. Amen. By the change of this world. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, Amen. You're no longer bound. Amen by these chains. See a lot of people, amen, they bind their own selves. Amen. A lot of people sometimes, uh, amen, they'll let chains begin to wrap around them, Sister Teresa. Amen. They begin to let things get on them. Uh, amen. They begin to let the things of the world begin to trap, uh, put a link around them. Uh, amen. Then another link. Uh, and then another link. Uh, amen. And before long, they're done linked up. Uh, amen. They done been bound. Uh, amen. But my Bible tells me uh, who the Son set free uh, was free indeed. Uh, amen. Somebody tonight. Uh, amen. The devil's got you bound. Down, down. Amen. Amen. The devil's got your toes so tired. Amen. You said, I just don't know which way to go. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what to do. Amen. But come to Jesus. That's right. Amen. If you'll come to Jesus, Amen. He'll heal you. He'll set you free. Amen. You won't be bound by that sin no more. Amen. A lot of times people, amen, get their selves bound. Uh, amen. Because they want to do this and they want to do that. Uh, amen. A lot of drug addicts, uh, amen, didn't start out being a drug addict. Uh, amen. A lot of alcoholics uh, didn't start out to be an alcoholic. Uh, amen. They just started out with a casual drink every once in a while. Uh, amen. But the devil said, no, you just drink a little more. Uh, and drink a little more. Uh, Take a little more drugs. Uh, amen. The more the more you do. Uh, amen. The more the more you get hooked on it. Uh, amen. The more you become an alcoholic. Uh, amen. The more you become a drug addict. Uh, amen. The more you become a prostitute. Uh, the more you do. Uh, amen. You get bound. Amen. You can't be loose from it. Amen. It's just like. Amen. People have habits in their lives. Amen. And they can't break their self from them habits. 
Amen. And them habits, amen, gets wrapped around you. Amen. And you just say, I gotta get rid of them. I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of that. Amen. But God said, whom the Son had set free. Amen. He's free indeed. He's no longer bound. Amen. The prison doors are open. Amen. You don't have to stay in the prisons no more. Amen. You don't have to be in that prison of drugs. Amen. You don't have to be in that prison of alcohol. You don't have to be in that prison of sex. Amen. You don't have to be in that prison of adultery and fornication. Amen. But you can come out and be set free by the blood of the Lamb. Hey, I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. Somebody. Amen's being bound. And God said, You shall be made free. All right, amen. You shall be made free. Well, Brother Miller, I, I'm tired. I'm tired of the things that's coming against me. I'm tired of these things that's, that's holding me down. I feel like I'm just, just nobody don't like me. I feel like nobody don't want me no more. I feel like I'm just useless, useless. Uh, amen. I'm not where I, I, you know, just like people just says they just walk by me uh, and act like I don't even exist. Uh, and I'm in this prison. Uh, and Brother Miller, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this prison. Uh, amen. I don't know how I'm going to get away from it. Uh, amen. I just got this call. Uh, amen. The devil say, well, why don't you just go ahead uh, and in your life, amen, and everything will be all right. And you'll get out of it. Amen. You just open up the prison door and you just walk right straight into another one. Amen. Because the devil will lie to you. Amen. Because once you take your life, amen, you're going to go to hell and you're going to spread hell wide open. Amen. But I'm here to give you some good news tonight. Amen. Jesus said, I came to set the captive free. Amen. I come to set them at liberty. Amen. I come to give them life. Amen. I come to give them life. Get something tonight. Amen. And it's Jesus. All right. Come on. It's Jesus. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord was upon me. That's right. Luke's gospel. Jesus even spoke those words. He said, The Spirit of the Lord was upon me. Amen. See, not only did Isaiah speak it, Jesus spoke it. Right. See, Jesus knew the word because he is the word. Amen. Amen. Right. And he spoke the word. And he said, whom the Son set free is free indeed. He's no longer bound. Amen. When Jesus comes in, amen, you're no longer bound by the chains of sin. Amen. Sin is gone. Amen. Look at the man, amen, that was going among the tombs. Amen. He was bound by chains and feathers. Amen. But he broke them to sunder. Amen. Because he was possessed by devils. He was bound. Amen. But Jesus passed by that way. And they said, why torment us before our time? And they said, if you're going to cast us out, cast us into the swine. And Jesus said, go. Amen. And those demons left. Amen. That man was set free that day. Amen. Because the Son of God was free. Amen. And when they came, they found that man clothed in his right mind. Amen. For when God saves you and he sets you free, amen, you're not bound no more. Amen. you got a right mind. I don't, I don't understand those things. I've never heard nobody preach like that. I've never heard nobody tell me, amen, that Jesus can set me free. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight, God spoke those words to me this morning. Set them free. Set them free. Who the Son of God has set free is free indeed. Amen. Amen. Jesus can set you free. Amen. Uh, of divorces, He can set it free. Amen. He can put it back together. Amen. The binds and the chains. Amen. The, the devil wants to wrap around people. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker tonight. Amen. He don't have to have no chain. No. 
bolt cutters to cut the chain. All he's got to do is say break. And those chains are broke. All he's got to do is say set free. And you're free. Amen. I'm telling you, they can put handcuffs on you. And you can't break them or lose. But Jesus, amen, can break them. Amen. Because he is the Son of God. All right, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I watched Houdini when I was growing up. And Houdini was the greatest musician there ever was. Amen. He could get out of anything. Anything. But you know one thing he couldn't get out of? He can't get out of hell. That's right. right. He cannot get out of hell. He can't escape. You know what he told his wife? He told his wife, he said, Honey, this is what I can do. He said, I can escape death. He said, You watch and see. When they put me in that coffin, when I die, I will escape from that coffin. And I'll walk just like I did when I got out of that big old tank that they put me down in the ocean and I come up out of there he said I'm going to come right up out of that grave honey you be waiting by that grave you're going to see me come out and guess what who did he didn't come out she went there for six months her husband didn't come out where did he at amen he died and lost and went to a devil's hell amen the devil lied to him and told him that he can escape death you cannot escape death Death will knock at your door. And you better be ready. You better let Jesus set you free. Because if you don't, you're going to die off. And you're going to go to hell. There is a place that's called hell. And that place called hell. Amen. We'll take you farther. And you want to go. Amen. You'll burn forever and ever. You won't come out of it. There's no getting back out of it. Amen. You can't do it. You can't escape death. That's right. Amen. Once you die, you're dead. See? Houdini thought that he could do everything. He was great. He was great. He could break chains. He could undo locks. He can get out of them uh, crazy best things that they used to put on crazy Straight people. Jackets. Straight jackets. He put them on him front ways and put it on him backwards. Amen. And he would get out of it. But when he told his wife, he said, Honey, you go to my grave. You're going to see me come up out of that grave. You're going to see me escape death. And I'm going to be right there. But God said, Amen. I got something that you can't do. There ain't but one that escaped death. And that name is Jesus Christ. And you're not Jesus Christ who did it. Amen. My son. Right, and then amen. I rose him up on the third day and he's alive forevermore. And he's telling you tonight who the son set free but be free yes. indeed. You don't have to go to this world hooked on drugs. You don't have to go to this world hooked on alcohol. You don't have to go to this world alive. That's right. Amen. Come on. Well, Brother Oh, the preachers always preach on drugs and alcohol. And the Bible said all liars have their part in the lake of fire. Amen. Right. He said all whoremongers, yep. all adulterers, right. all fornicators, yep. amen, all, all drunkards That's right. amen. will have their part in the lake of fire. Right, amen. So it ain't just alcoholics and drug addicts. That's everybody. Amen. That's right. Amen. If you're not living right and you've got sin in your life, that's you. Amen. That's right. Amen. God said not one sin is going to enter into that place. That's going to be a holy place, a sinless place. That's right. Amen. No more death. No more pain. Sister Charlotte, no more pain. No more sorrow. No more back pain. No more sorrow. No more arm pain. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Sister Teresa. No more leg pain. No more heart attacks. Right, come on. No more sugar diabetes. Right, come on. <laughs> no more sickness at all. No more sickness. Come on. 
Hey, Amen. There won't be no markers where your mother or your daddy's laid. There won't be no markers. Amen. Where your mama and your grandmama and your grandpa. Amen. Or laid. There'll be no more gravestones. Yes, There'll be no more tombstones. Whoa. Amen. We're going to have a glorified body. Amen. We're going to have a yes. new body. Amen. A purified body. A holy body. Amen. Sinless. Right, come on. Glory. Oh, Lord. Come on. Won't be no glasses. <laughs> Won't be no hearing aids. That's right, amen. Won't be no deaf ears. Right, Won't on. be no cripple up there. <laughs> oh, Lord. There won't be nobody up there with no arms right. and no legs. I thought as I looked at my wife's cousin last night, I thought, buddy, if you get your heart right with God, when you get to heaven, he's got a new leg waiting for you. That's and not right. only that, he can give you a new leg right now. Right. If you got the faith that God can do it. Right. Hey, man, I'm here to Come tell on. you. Hey, man, you're going to be able to walk on that street of gold. That's you're right. going to be Come able on. to shout. You're going to be able to Come praise. On. I think about that song, there'll be no more cripples there. Right, Amen. Come on. No more blinded eyes. Amen. Everybody's gonna be able to walk. Everybody's gonna be able to sing. Everybody else is gonna be able to see. Amen. They're gonna see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. But you gotta be set free. That's right. Come on. You gotta be free. You gotta be set free. Be free. Amen. He said here. Amen. He said. The Spirit of the Lord, God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings. What's good tidings? That means something that's good. And can I tell you, salvation is the best thing you could ever have. Salvation, amen, is the best thing, amen, that you could ever get. Amen, the best thing that you could ever do is ask Jesus to come into your heart and ask him to save you, ask him to forgive you of your sins. Yes. That is the good times. That is the yes. good news tonight. Goodness of God, right there. I could have come here and I could have told you the bad thing. I could have come here and told you, amen, that all them houses in Florida was wiped out. There's all kinds of places down there just destroyed. I could have come here and told you that the economy is crashing. I could have come here and I could have told you the bad news. I could have told you lies like the news people do. Amen, but I ain't. Amen, I come to tell you something real. I come to tell you something that's good. I came to tell you something that'll make you free. I came to tell you about a man called Jesus. Amen. I come to tell you that he's here to set somebody free. Amen. And deliver somebody. Amen. From what God wants to do. You've been bound too long. You've been yep. bound too long. Come on. That's right. You've been bound in sin too long. What hinders you? What hinders you to say, Lord, forgive me? Yep, yep. What hinders you? Come on. Say, Jesus, would you set me free? I right. like to be free like that preacher's preaching about. Right. I like to be free from these drugs. Can I tell you, God can take a meth pipe out of your hands? Right. Can I tell you, He can take the needle out of your arms? Can I tell you, all around Glasgow Square, that's sitting at the pub, amen, sitting right down here at the game thing, amen, outside drinking your beer, can I tell you, there's a Jesus that can set you free from it, right. amen, and He can deliver you, amen, and He can save your soul. That's right, amen. And make you whole. Well, preacher, I like doing it. I like drinking. I like it. I like shooting up that needle in my arm. Preacher, I like it. You talk to a drug addict and ask them, say, do you really like it? Uh-uh. But it gets me through the day. Ask an alcoholic, do you really like it? No. But it helps me. It helps me get through the day. 
But can I tell you what you need to get a hold of? You need to get a hold of some of that new wine. Right. Amen. That's that right. new wine that makes you shout all the time. Right. Amen. That's It'll right. Amen. You sing. It'll make you praise God. Yep. When you say something you shouldn't say, you say, Lord, I'm sorry. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. If it comes out, it slips out, say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yep. Amen. And say, forgive me, Lord. Man. That's right. Amen. Seem like every night we hear ambulance. Somebody, somebody's life could be in the balance right now. That's right, amen. Somebody's life could be weighing in. It could be a drug addict. It could be a whoremonger. It could be an adulterer, a fornicator, a liar, a cusser. Amen. It could be either one of them that her life is being weighed in the balance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We're here tonight on the Glasgow Square. Amen. This week to try to win somebody to the Lord. Try to win the lost at any cost. Amen. We're not charging nobody a dime. Amen. We're not charging nobody a penny. Amen. You're getting this free. Because my Bible said freely give, freely shall you receive. That's right. Amen. amen. As long as I see a soul saved, uh, does see one come back to the Lord. Uh, That's right. Amen. amen. As long as we can see somebody. Yes. Uh, amen. Set free tonight. That's right. Amen. He said here, he said, to preach good tidings unto the meek. Amen. That's those that's hurting. That's those that's, that's weak. Right. Amen. That's those that, that need somebody to reach out to. Need somebody that can reach out to them. Somebody that'll tell them that they love them. Amen. <laughs> Not hate them. Amen. I hate your sin, but I love you. Amen. I hate the sin that people does, but I love them. That's Amen. Right. Why? Because God put a love inside of me. Huh? Amen. He put a love, a godly love inside of me. Amen. I love that sinner, huh? but I don't love the sin. Huh? Amen. I love that homosexual, but I don't love that sin. Huh? I love that lesbian, but I don't love that sin. But I love them. I love their soul. Amen. I want to try to keep them from God and going to hell. Amen. Amen. That's what it's about, church. A lot of churches won't love them. A lot of them won't even let them say anything to them. They just walk by. That's right. Amen. Amen. I got a, a niece. Amen. That way. But I tell her I love her. Amen. I tell her I love her. Uncle David loves you. You know your mama. Amen. Said for us to make sure you get ready to go to heaven. You ain't going to go there that way. But if you get your life straightened out and let Jesus set you free, amen, you'll get to go see your mom. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Well, preacher, that's all I hear anymore. Preachers preaching on homosexuals and lesbians and transgenders and, and all that. Well, let me tell you something. We love them. But I don't love the sin. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm not going to panicate the sin. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Right. I love her soul. Amen. I told a, a girl the, uh, here a while back. I said, I love your son, but I don't love what he does. Right. I said, but I love him. And I love his soul. He's got a soul that God can save. Amen. He's got a soul that God can set him free. Right. Amen. He no longer has to be that way. Amen. He can be changed. But amen. Let me tell you something. Amen. A lot of mamas and daddies, amen, they put them out. Uh, amen. Because they embarrassed them. Uh, amen. It made them look awful. Uh, amen. But let me tell you something. Jesus said, if your mother and father forsake you, I'll take you. I'll take you up. Uh, amen. I'll pick you up. Uh, I'll set you free. Uh, amen. I'll deliver you. Uh, amen. I'll put something inside of you. Amen. It'll make you want to shout. Can I tell you what else he says? He said, I'll take the foolish things and confound the wise. Right. Yes, he He'll take that biggest alcoholic, amen, and save their soul. Sister Trish and put them out on the fire field. Right, amen. amen. He'll put them out there preaching the gospel. Yeah. Amen. He'll take, uh, amen. I, let me tell you. Yeah. You say, Brother Miller, I don't believe in that. Well, let me tell you a little story. Uh, yeah. Amen. There was a woman. Uh, amen. It went to the uh, Playboy uh, Mansion. Hugh Hefner, one of his top Playboys. One of his top girls. Amen. She had been with everybody, men and women. It didn't matter. 
And somebody said there's no hope for you because you're you're just a porn star. But see, one time somebody had a tent revival set up. An old fashioned Holy Ghost tent revival set up. And she was walking one night and she passed by that tent. And she heard that preacher in there preaching, telling about Jesus and how Jesus can make you free and how he can save your soul and how you don't have to be bound by sex no more. Amen. And she said, I made my way into that tent. And she said, I sat in there and said, all the men started looking at me. Wonder why they told on themselves sitting in that tent for life. Well, they had to be watching her in that magazine. They had to be looking at her in the movies. But she said, I didn't worry about that no more. She said, something draw me to this tent. And she said, I came. And when they gave an altar call, she said, something started pulling at my heart. Started tugging at my heart. She said, if you'll go, I'll set you free. Right. And she got up and made her way to an altar. And guess what? She's one of the biggest women of evangelists out there preaching the gospel. She's winning the lost. Amen. She's out there telling the girls, you don't have to sell your body. You don't have to be like that. God will change you free. He'll change you. He'll make you different. Amen. Now the men don't look at her like that no more. Amen. They look at her as a godly woman. Why? Because God took her and cleaned her up. And he set her free from those chains of sin that bound her. Somebody tonight, God said, I want to set you free. From the sin that binds you. I had a girl send a thing on Facebook. They tell us not to go around Christian people. Stay away from Christian people because they don't like us. They don't like our kind. She said I was a lesbian for a long time. And she said, they'd all tell me, don't go around them kind of people. They hate you. They hate us. They don't like us. And she said, she got to where she listened to what they would say. And she was shunned. People that went to church, she would try to get away from them. And one night, she was laying there in her bed. And she said, something said, pick up the word. She had a Bible laying there. She said, I've had it ever since I was little. She said, I picked up that Bible. And she said, I began to read it about for myself. She said, I turned to John 3, 16. It opened up. said, for, who, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. She read verse number 17 where he said, I did not come into this world to condemn this world, but that the world through me might be saved. Right. She said, I didn't just stop there. I began to read more. And I began to read where he told this man, Nicodemus, that he must be born again or he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right. said, I read a little bit further where he said, who the Son set free is free indeed. And she said, I got out of my bed and I fell down on my knees. And she said, I began to cry out to the Lord and said, Lord, if you're real, if you're really real, Lord, let me feel you touch my heart. Let me feel you save my soul. Let me feel you set me free. And all of a sudden she said, it was like a lightning strike hit her and she began to feel the presence of the Lord. She felt the arms go around her and she said, amen, I got up and I went and told them, amen, I got saved. Jesus saved my soul. Amen. And she said, you know what else? She said, they walked away from me. You one of those now. You're one of them. She said, no. She said, I'm just here to tell you 
that you can be changed. That's right, amen. Because last night, while I was kneeling beside my bed, I wasn't in no church, but I was kneeling beside my bed and said, this man came and put his arms around me, told me that he loved me. She said, I felt the hands in him, and I felt something in his hand. She felt the nail prints. Amen. She said, I felt him. Amen. And said, he told me, you are set free. You're no longer bound by that. Amen. She said, I'm here to tell you, you can be set free. And why did y'all tell me to stay away from them church people? Because they love us. That's right. Amen. They love us. They just said, it's like what we were doing wrong. She said, I read it in the Bible. Tell me God can't set somebody free tonight. Amen. Amen. The world has told people, those kind of people that we hate, right, that the church people don't like them. Yep. Right. This church folks do. Amen. We just don't like to see them. But we can think about a man that can put his arms around you just like he did that girl. Amen. I don't know who that girl was. Amen. I just, I was going through Facebook one night and boom, here she was right there. She was telling me, amen, that she had been set free yes, amen. from being a lesbian. That she didn't go to a church service. She didn't go and hear a preacher preach. She said she heard a voice say, pick your word up. That's right. Pick your Bible up and begin to read. That's why a lot of people ain't saved because they can't read the Bible. Hey, they, they won't read it for themselves. But if you'll ever get a hold of that Word of God and begin to read that Word of God, that Word of God will get inside of you. It'll get into a sinner's heart. Amen. And it'll begin to break that heart up. Amen. And it'll cry out and say, Lord, if you be God, save me. That's right, amen. Tell you another story. I was 13 years old. Lived in Taylorsville, Indiana. There was a guy that lived probably from here across the street over there in front of me. He was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. He said, there's no such thing as God. And my daddy would say, well, one day you'll find out. One day you'll find out that I love you, brother. I love you. God loves you. Don't tell me about God. Don't you say nothing about God to me. Amen. One day it was coming a bad storm, Sister Teresa. I'm talking a bad storm. You know the cameras that Portaroy cameras to take a picture and then all of a sudden it develop itself. Amen. A lightning. Tornadoes were supposed to be out. Amen. And trees were so slapping the ground. Wind was doing bad. Thundering. Amen. And all of a sudden that man runs out and he's a cussing God. And he's a saying, why are you doing that? I said, well, if he didn't believe in God, why is he cussing him? Amen. He said, if there is a God in heaven, if there is a God in heaven, like my neighbor up the road said, he said, if I take this picture, you let me see you. And if not, I know there's no God. Yep, the Lord. Amen. He took a picture right in that light and the boat started striking. And it missed him. Just by inches, that lightning strike missed him. And he sat there and he waited and he held that picture in his hand. Bam! Not believing that there's a God. Satan had him wrapped up in chains, not believing that there was a God. Waiting for that picture to develop. And Sister Teresa, that picture developed. There was a form of a man standing in that picture. And that man dropped to his knees right there in that storm. And he gave his heart and life over to God. And he said, I believe, I believe, I believe there is a God in heaven. I'm sorry, God, that I cussed you. I'm sorry that I didn't believe in you. Hey, man, God set him free that day. Showed him God could have took him out with that lightning strike. He showed him how fast. Hey, man, he could have took him out with that lightning strike. But God didn't let that lightning strike him. Why? Because God had a plan. God had a plan. God's got a plan for somebody tonight. Amen. To be set free. Amen. 
Amen. From these chains. From these chains. Amen. That binds people. Listen. Romans chapter 6. Amen. Romans chapter 6 and verse 22. Amen. But now, being made free from sin and becoming servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. See, when Jesus sets you free, sissy, you're free indeed. Amen. Amen. You're no longer bound by sin. Amen. Right. He'll change your life. He'll change your heart. He'll make you have a better life than you've ever had before. Right. Amen. You'll say, well, I don't want to lose my friends. Yep. Look around. Look around. you got friends. That's right, amen. That's right, amen. When you become a child of God, amen, you've got, you've got a family. Amen. That's right, We're amen. just a family. That's right, amen. Amen. We're just a family. Come on. Amen. We're making our way to heaven. We want to take some more family with us. Amen. But when you give your heart and life to Jesus, those chains are gone. Right. Zach Williams has got a song out. Break every chain. Chain breaker. Chain breaker. Yeah, chain breaker. Yeah. He's a chain breaker. That's right. He can break your chain. I don't care how much you've been bound. I don't care how much, amen, that you've been trotting down, amen. I don't care how much the devil lied to you and told you, amen, right. that you can't be set free. You can. Amen. Amen. You can be delivered tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. See, all he's asking is for you to let the sun set right. you free. Amen. You're around here listening by cars. You're sitting and listening. I'm here to tell you tonight, and then all you have to do is bow your head over that steering wheel. Right. Say, right. Jesus, I want to be free like that. Jesus, I want to be set free like that. That's right. I don't want to be bound like that. I don't want to know. I want to know if I wake up in the morning that I'm going to go to heaven. Because right. if I don't wake up in the morning and I ain't got you in my heart, I might die and go to hell. Man. Right. Because if you don't wake up and you ain't got Jesus in your heart, that's where you're going to be. That's right. Amen. But Jesus said, I come to set you free tonight. God told me, told me today when I woke up, he said, set free. I want to set them free. I want to set them free tonight. I want to set somebody free. Not me, but God. His son. Die on the cross so you can have life and you can have it more abundantly. Yeah. People, they tell people that you gotta live this way, you gotta live that way, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Let me tell you something. When you get saved, you become a little baby. You're a baby in Christ. You're a work in process. You gotta work. Preachers has gotta feed you the word. We gotta teach you how you gotta live. Amen. A lot of people think What am I supposed to do? When you look at that porn star. God saved her soul. A few months later, she was at another temple of God saved the pattern. Filled her with the Holy Ghost, Sister Teresa. A few months later, he said, I want you to preach the gospel. I want you to go spread my good news. I want you to go tell people and tell them girls, amen, that I can set them free. That's right, amen. That ain't 
kids that I was talking about. Man, he was one of them good church doors. Amen. He was at the church when the doors was open. Amen. He was ready. He said, I'm, I'm coming. Amen. He was ready to be in the house of God. Because he knew that God showed him that he was real. That girl that was a lesbian. She's a good witness for the Lord. She's telling people that God will set them free. She's telling them that God will make them different. And then they'll be changed. They won't be that way no more when God comes in. He changes that. He takes that away from you. He sets you free from it. Because she, she said, I was told that I never could be set free. And I would never be able to get forgiveness. But she said, he told me. He put his arms around me. Said, I set you free. You're free. Somebody tonight needs to be set free. Somebody needs to be set free tonight. God said, set them free. Set them free. God's talking to somebody. God's talking to somebody that's been bound by chains. Been bound by sin so long as you feel like that I can't get forgiveness. Tell you God will forgive you. He said he's faithful and just to forgive you of all sins, all, A-L-L, everything. And listen, you don't have to confess every one of your sins to him. You don't have to come up here and tell him everything you've done. All you got to do is say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. And they're gone. They're gone at last.
calling you.
That's because right. when it's your time to go, you're going to go no matter how it happens, no matter whether it be sickness or car wreck, gunshot or whatever. When it's your time to go, God's going to pull that number and you're going to go. So it always pays to be ready, you know. I thank God for being here tonight. Thank everybody that came out. But like Dad said, and just like I can't get Brother Wayne's message off my mind where God's calling somebody's name. I've thought of that all night last night. Is God calling your name? If he's calling your name, you need to be ready when he calls that name. He's giving somebody a warning. And that warning that Brother Wayne, he gave to Wayne was this guy named Stephen. You know, there's somebody out there named Stephen that God's wanting. And God will get him one way or another, whether it's good or whether it's bad, God will get him. God will get you one way or another, whether it's good or whether it's bad, but God will get you. That's right. That's why it always pays to be ready when he calls your name. I thank the Lord for being here tonight. Thank you for the good message, and thank you for everybody that sung. You know, it's cold, but it takes a job to come out here and do this. But you got to be willing. Why are we willing? Because we love the Lord and we want to see souls saved. We know we could be reaching somebody that we don't even know. That could be in an apartment somewhere. Because this echoes out through here. Y'all can hear it down the road. Somebody could be listening and could give their heart to the Lord. We may not never know it unless they come and tell us. Or we'll find out when we go to heaven. That's right. If you're living right. And I thank God for the one that came back to the Lord. Whether anybody else does or not. That one made it worth it all being up here. Even though we've been told it's made it worth it. I thank God. I thank the Lord for what he means to me. Thank you for everything he's done for me. The Lord's been so good to me. I just can't tell it all. I just thank him and praise him for every blessing that he's done, for keeping his hand upon my family. You know, I love the Lord. My heart's desire to make him my home and do what he's happy to do. You know, I always want to be willing to try my best to do what he's happy to do. I'm thankful for my church family. I'm thankful for our church, and I'm thankful for everything he's done for us. I thank him for my good husband that I have, and I praise God for him because I know God gave him to me. You know, I'm, I'm so thankful that my aunt came in, and she's been a worker for the Lord, and she's just an inspiration to everybody. You know, she's she's just a worker, worker, worker. We all just had the determination that she has, and and the work ethic that she has for the Lord, you know, that's what she's an example. You know, she's not been in church long, but she's already an example to us of what we should be like. Yeah, so right, I thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for my sister. Thank the Lord I've been singing with her since probably about 15 years old. And uh, I thank the Lord for her. I thank the Lord for what he done for her. I thank the Lord, you know, when she came in my house and she told me what the doctors had told her. You know, I thank the Lord that he kept his hand upon her brought her through. And I thank the Lord for that. I praise the Lord for being here tonight and for all of y'all. Love y'all. Amen. We're going to pray now and dismiss. Lord God, we praise you. We thank you for another night that you gave us through, Lord God, to come out and spread your word. God, we just pray, dear Lord God, that you just touch each and every heart here, dear Lord God. Each and every person that's in their cars listening, dear Lord God, that we don't even know, dear Lord God. God, we pray, dear Lord God, if they don't know you, dear Lord God, that you would go out and that you would touch their hearts, dear Lord God. Convict them, Lord God, and let them know, dear Lord God, that they need you more than the breath that they breathe, dear God. God, we just pray, dear Lord God, that we'd reach people, dear Lord God, for you, Lord God. That's what we're trying to do. And Lord God, keep your hand upon each and every one of us as we go home, dear Lord God, and keep your hand upon us till we come together again. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank y'all for joining tonight.